All right, go to work on the Yamaha River a little bit. We have a, a 55 degree day here in uh, Wisconsin. And uh, I want to get this paint off of here. That is the black paint here. It's just sprayed on, sprayed on paint uh, that somebody put over the red paint, which is a little bit higher quality paint, but the bike originally was white. So the white layer is the original paint. So what I did was I took and soaked this in brake fluid, and it worked really good. But I didn't get back to it, and it all dried out, and it's all, it's all just dry, flaky stuff. So I'm going to take the panels off the bike and I'm going to re-soak them in brake fluid. Um, if you watch my channel, you know about the Honda Goldwing. I flushed out the brake lines on that bike and used a good quart of oil to uh, flush out those lines. So I have all that old nasty uh, brake fluid. I may as well use it for this. So, we're going to just set you up over here so you can watch me disassemble. I only have about an hour today to, to get this done. And I have to go take care of a customer. So, enjoy. It shouldn't take me long. I'll probably uh, fast forward you through most of this. It's just unscrewing plastic. Should I keep skull and crossbones here? I might. We'll see. see this but it's white. It's busted it looks like. Eh, we'll see. I might just end up painting them anyhow. This stupid thing. You gotta take the fork off to get the rear fender off. I'm gonna just cut the plastic. Fuck it. Nice. More proof that it was white. So good. Crack fender though. That's a bummer. winter storage and uh, put this thing away for the winter. Probably won't paint it till next spring. But uh, I'll do a video on just how to strip the paint down and how that goes.
So, this is everything that needs to get painted. Well, these all get stripped. I can get this all stripped down in the next week or two. All right. So the whole, all this stuff down in the basement. We use the kiddie pool so I don't get brake fluid all over the basement floor. I'm going to do this in the basement. And uh, I'm going to just soak it in brake fluid. Uh, I'll bring you back when I got everything dripping and soaking in rags. And uh, I'm going to take an entire week to try and strip this down and uh, see, what, see what works. Talk to you then. Okay, so here's the plan. Use some gloves. I have used bad brake fluid that I took out of the Honda and a whole box full of rags here. So it's a pretty simple plan. I'm going to soak the brake fluid onto the rag the red will hold the brake fluid onto the painted part and soften it up. This time I will take the time to clean it up. The last time I did this, it wiped off in one wipe. It was so nice. So the red stuff does not seem to want to come off as easily as the black stuff. The black stuff just wipes right off. So I have some trim here I gotta take off. So, hold on a second. I'm going to do these three pieces first. See how it goes. Things down. Alright, I let all this stuff sit overnight. I was too tired to deal with it yesterday. Having uh, phone issues, so my phone wasn't backing things up the way it should. So I don't have time to work on this today, but I'm going to, or right now. I'm going to reapply. Seems to dry up. Me. I thought 
this thing like white. This panel has at least three layers of paint on it. Dang it. I guess the panel was originally black. So, black, red, white. Three layers of paint on this one. It's going to be a pain in the butt. So I'll just keep stripping it down. really hoping the white was the base plastic color and uh, I could take it down the white and be done with it but I'm gonna have to paint it okay bring you back when I'm done all right it's the end of the work day these have been sitting here for eight hours or more and uh, I gotta get back to it They've all dried out again, so um, I'm going to get a green scrubby and start scrubbing that stuff clean. Meanwhile, I'm working over here, a little bit of a different situation. This will be the citrus stripper that I have here, which is set up here. I'm going to try some of this stuff. Um, paint and varnish stripper. No harmful fumes. So let's see what happens. We're going to shake this up good. I have a roll of uh, unbreakable thread, which is older than my marriage. <laughs> and, uh, this stuff works great. I'm going to try to use it behind these uh, placards and save them. Ordinarily, I use dental floss, but I can't find any. I use uh, dental picks. You know, those little green picks, I like those a lot better than floss. Well, so much for unbreakable. All right, I'm gonna have to find me some dental floss. I'll be right back. All right, plan B. I'm gonna just heat it up a little bit here. Scrape it with the pry scraper here. And that's not very really hot. I like it. It's kind of cool. I could probably buy one on Amazon for two dollars. But that's two bucks I ain't gonna spend. I think the river's gonna come right off of here. All right, I'll keep it. I think I can clean that up. Now, if you can ignore the noise, I had to re-epoxy the screw standoffs here. The, there's a, a alignment nub. I don't know if you can see that right here and I used uh, I had a crack here 
That feels like all right. It's on the bottom side, nobody will see it. So I'm not worried about it showing through this side. I just want the repair there for structural. And the headlight mount here was busted off. So this is all patched up. I'm going to strip this and that with this. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do that, uh, the front part of that one first. I'm not going to commit myself to do the whole thing right now. So. So, I don't know if you can see this in the picture here, right here, you can see where there's an outline of a tag, but what somebody did was they put painter's tape over the original Yamaha sticker, you can kind of see I peeled it away a little bit here. So the sticker underneath is good, so I need to cover that back up with painter's tape. Keep that protected. So when I'm done painting it, I can take this tape off and have the original decals. They did that on all the trim pieces. They painted, they taped over the labels and uh, painted over them. So, that'll be interesting. these directions for a minute, I'll bring you right back. I love these directions. It says up here, it says safe for indoor use. The problem is, is the definition of indoor use is basically not being a barn. So don't use it in your basement, don't use it, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm in my basement. I'm going to just do a little bit, do a little bit, see how it goes. It says 30 minutes to 24 hours. I should start being able to scrape off paint to check it sooner if I'm doing it on plastic. So, let's do it. All right, looks like it's already bubbling up. But I know that first layer of black paint on this uh, plastic is rather one coat cheap paint that comes right off. So uh, it's the layers underneath. This also says it will remove uh, multiple layers. And on the directions, it says it'll do five layers of uh, latex paint, but who knows what kind of paint they used? I have no idea. So, uh, let's leave it at that. It does not smell bad. I uh, don't need more, so I'm going to leave it like it is. Um, and uh, we'll come back in half an hour, 45 minutes. Maybe we'll go play with the other stuff while this is... Uh, uh, doing its magic here. here we go. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. I have just 
just a little bit reluctant here, so I'm going to use this up. And once that's gone, I'm not going to be doing any more brake fluid. The only reason I'm using it is because it's, I have it, it's free, and I was just going to dump it. So, uh, if I can get an extra use out of some old brake fluid, uh, why not? Alright, got some gloves on. I'm going to just start working this some more. broken part here. I'll take it to all this paint off. I'll probably epoxy that back together. I've decided to go red. I really like this red that's on here. It's a shame that somebody painted over it. Screwed it all up. So I think that's a wonderful candy apple red. So, oh well. I have a uh, luggage uh, carrier on the back of this that I picked up for 20 bucks and it's probably off of something like a uh, tau tau it's off of something like that and it uh, it's red so I think I'm going to take that up to a place in Appleton, Wisconsin, who will make you a spray can of paint that will match that, uh, that color. I just paint it like that color. That's one less piece I have to paint. I like the red, you know. I paint it any other color, I have to paint that other part, so some extra work. So unfortunately, the uh, Yamaha 125 sticker is on the white paint. So whoever painted it white did a really good job. And then somebody painted it red. And then some kids got hold of it with a black spray paint can and screwed it all up. That's a shame. I'm gonna see if I can find those stickers. I bet you they're on eBay all over the place. I have a guy that could make them for me. Alright, well you get the point. I'm going to have at it here for another half an hour. Let's just take a quick peek on how our other front fairing is doing here. All right, she's bubbled up. It's only been about, well, you were here, not very long. And already, see, it's blue. It's a blue herring. It already seems like it's dried out. Hmm. I hit it with another layer. The inside of this fender is white. <clears throat> this is why I thought the whole motorcycle was white. So now apparently there's a black over blue. So this one here, they painted the inside. 
but I see markings in here that say it's white. So, dang. Yeah, they scrapes. It's white. They said half an hour to 24 hours. It's only been about <clears throat> 15 minutes. So, all right, I'll bring you back when there's something interesting happening. Okay, it's only been about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So this has been on here at least half an hour, 45 minutes. And she seems to be scraping off, okay. So uh, I'm gonna just scrape her off, reapply, and I'll get that. Decided the logo's gotta go. That's a bummer. Wash it off, clear coat it, call it done. Call it patina. I'd buy new ones if I could find them. I'd buy a whole nother river if I could find one. 93. You know, something trashed, but then the plastics are all broken. I did not know this was this bad. This sucks. Oh well. Starting to eat through my medical waist gloves. I bought these at Walgreens. Maybe I should buy them from O'Reilly's. They have the, the, the thicker 50 mil or whatever they are. Don't fall apart with a little bit of chemicals. There's, there's a drip of paint right there. Can you see that? Hey, caramba. Give her one more go over tonight. I will bring you back when I'm done. Something more interesting comes up. Okay, after several hours of uh, soaking in brake fluid, over here I have these pieces and Turns out, I missed a piece, but you take the paint off and they were all busted up. Now the brake fluid really doesn't like this black plastic, so I don't recommend putting brake fluid on there. But the brake fluid cleared off three layers of paint that were on here. Okay, and I did this one this year and the, the brake fluid was on this panel for no more than 36 hours. Now this one over here is a little bit different story. I put brake fluid on that a year and a half ago. <laughs> so it, it's, I, I kind of rinsed it off once, but uh, not really. So it soaked in the brake fluid a lot longer and therefore went further into the paint. This is factory paint right here. And it's not coming off. I'm going to leave it alone. This, however, got into that factory paint. And it is a muller to get that factory paint off of there. But what's happened is after I took the paint off, it's falling apart. This one was a crack that 
was literally held together with paint. Three layers of paint. I was holding that on there. And I remember that being floppy over there, so that doesn't surprise me. But this one did. This one over here I did not was know was broken, you know, so that's a pretty major break. I'm going to try and fix it with some, uh, first I'm going to super glue it just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to bond strips of plastic to the back side of it for structural support. Um, I've had really good luck with uh, uh, mercury uh, epoxy. Uh, works really good on this plastic stuff. And then I'm actually thinking about putting a layer of flex seal on the back of them just to glue it all together. This over here, these pieces, uh, this too was also um, brake fluid. It turned out pretty good. So brake fluid works, but I don't recommend it. Test it to make sure you don't run into that issue. This is the Citrus Stripper. It did a pretty good job. Okay, it went down to the factory white. I don't think there's anything other than white on here. Uh, I ran out, so I couldn't quite finish some of this up. So that's why there's some blue still on here. But that had four layers of paint, as did this one have four layers of paint on it. And, uh, it will only do one layer at a time. You had to clean one layer completely off, scrub it with a, a scrubby pad, re-soak it twice, and then scrub it some more. So this is pretty good. I'm gonna be able to sand, sand that out with 320, no problem. And she'll smooth right up for me. So the major parts are okay. The, uh, this one was broken. Somebody glued it together at some point. So they probably got to clean that up a little bit. But uh, this is the mess right here. Right here. Got a piece here. Another piece here that's broken. Right here. This guy's broken. So I'm going to try to glue all that together. But I wanted to get this part of the video done. And uh, let you know the results. I think this is safer than brake fluid, but I didn't use that on the problem black plastic, so I don't know for sure what that stuff would do. So I'm going to use more brake fluid to clean this off, only because I have a little, little bit left, and why not? So, all right. So all I got for you now, stripping plastic on motorcycles. Oh, I went to the automotive paint store in Appleton. It's a Napa. And uh, the guys there were like, we don't sell paint for plastic. So I am, I just went to, uh, I think, Fleet Farm and bought this red right here. I'm trying to match the red on the left. And I think the red on the left is a little lighter, but you know what? Don't care. Uh, so it says Ultra Cover Paint and Primer Bonds to Plastic. So we're going to test that. I've actually had pretty good luck with this stuff. I'm just not sure if I'm going to primer it first. I'm debating <laughs> putting primer on here as kind of a, a structural layer on the back side of these. I don't know. Figure something up. All right, that's all I got for you. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to start doing some painting. All right, it's a few days later. I've done some work on this that'll be in the next video. So watch that, but I've changed my mind. I've decided to go white instead of red. It was the original color. So 
I go online to check out the scooter to see pictures of the scooter. You Google it and you'll find a whole lot of red scooters out there. I mean, 80% of them are red scooters and very few uh, gold scooters. And specifically what I was looking for was the um, Yamaha label there. That one I might save. Uh, that one's beyond saving. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky. So anyways, I'm going white. I went and got myself some Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover Flat White Primer. Bonds to plastic. Then I'm going to coat that, sand it, get it smooth. Then I'm going to do the Rust-Oleum High Gloss Paint and Primer. Bonds to plastic. Shall be fine. Then I'm going to hit with the same family of clear over all of that. So, it's going to be several coats of, uh, of paint, I think. Don't know if I have enough paint here. But this is where I'm going to leave you. The video is getting a little bit long. Um, the next video will be about glue and plastic together. It's mesmerizing. Make sure you tune in. Thanks for watching. Leave a suggestion. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, I appreciate those uh, very much. Anything helps. Have a good day. Bye-bye.